Hey guys, what's going on? This is insane. I am doing just a completely raw video because a lot of stuff just kind of went down altogether. I apologize, it's daytime and like the last video, it's gonna be like this and I'm sorry. But let me just bring you to the desktop real quick. I just wanted to go through Yone's abilities, his run, like the rundown of it, and then um, a little bit more because we just got so much stuff about, about him. So let's just get into his abilities. Oh, let me just actually fix this. There. Stay like this, please. Camera. We're good. Okay, so his passive, Way of the Hunter. Yone uses two blades, causing every second attack to deal more magic damage. His critical strike chance is also doubled, but his critical strike strikes deal reduced damage. Hold on. Let me put on the glasses so I can actually see. Okay, and now we have a video for it. Okay. Very, um, interesting stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is his Q, Mortal Steel. Yone thrusts forward dealing physical damage to his to opponents on hit. He gains a stack of Gathering Storm. At two stacks, Yone can dash forward with a wave that makes enemies airborne. That's sick. Okay. That's his second stack. Okay, so in, um, in the last video that you guys saw, Yone, um, at the very end, when he cut through the demon, that wasn't his ult, as we saw. Or maybe it is. Let's see. W, Spirit Cleave. Yone cleaves forward in a massive arc, dealing a portion of the target's maximum health. After successfully hitting an enemy, Yone also gains a temporary shield. The shield's power increases per champion struck. So this is kind of like... Um, an old Evelyn alt, but probably cooler and better. Let's, let's, let's see. Okay. Okay. We're getting into it. Okay, E. Soul Unbound. Yone can enter his spirit form, gaining movement speed and leaving his body behind. When Yone's spirit form expires, he'll snap back into his body and deal a percent of all the damage he dealt while in spirit form. What? Okay, what the hell? That's insane. Okay, Fate Sealed. Yone strikes all enemies in his path, blinking behind the last enemy hit and knocking everyone airborne towards him. Oh no, so that is his ult. Interesting. So there's a charge up, brings everyone towards him, and then knocks them up. So I guess like a normal combo would be like a an alt. I guess you have to charge up your Q or something, so it'd be like a Q. So charged Q, you would alt. They would all be there. You Q. For the, 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 like, um, so you knock them up again, then dub, no. Okay, so you would want to start everything with your E. That's, this is just it, right here. Wait, what, hello? Leak? You wanna, there we go. So you'd want to start everything with your E. Uh, they don't really show us too much about it, though. At least, oh, they do. Okay, so they show us, they show us that we can use abilities in it. So I'm guessing you'd want to have your second Q. You would E, Alt, knock them up, Q, knock them up again, W, and then I guess just finish it, maybe weave in some autos in between. 
But from what I got, you only be released in patch 10.16. This is the main. This is the main. That's it. It's official. Okay, so another little thing that I wanted to touch up on is um, the other, uh, kind of the champion insight. Because I saw something that was really interesting. So this just goes about talking about how, um, like, basically just, like, the story between the two brothers. And then um, a little bit more about, like, the demons of, like, the, um, the whew, what is the word again? Azakana, there we go. I almost said Akazana. What is this? Okay, so this shows us a little bit more of um, no audio. All right, I like it. So, how long is his? Theme? Okay, you you get we get a little timer. Okay, interesting. Yoni can literally tear his soul from his body, leaving his mortal form behind to traverse the spirit realm for a brief period of time. In game, this manifests as his E, Soul Unbound, where he unleashes an onslaught on his enemies, marking them with stored damage that, upon returning to his body, expires and deals true, true damage. But unlike Zed or LeBlanc, Yoni gets no choice in whether he returns to his body. He must go back when the timer ends. Okay. Uncertain why he is not allowed, why he was not allowed to die and worried about the mask affixed to his face, Yone began to hunt Azakana in an effort to better understand the mystery of his own fate. He discovered that he could seal other Azakana into inert masks by learning their nature and true name. And now strives to discover the name of his own Asakana. Oh. So there's obsession turned by turned to malice, self doubt, petty jealousy, fulminating anger, fear of changing. Oh, so petty and jealousy. Oh, that's actually so good because in um. So hold on, let me go and find. The League of Legends video really quick. I apologize. I was actually supposed to have this already up. I am very sorry. Okay, so I'm, I, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I am very pumped for this. This, him right here, is the, the uh, petty, uh, petty or uh, jealousy. As you could see. Where is it? There. Perfect. Cool. So this is literally... Yeah, this is right after this. And it's really cool. I, I like it a lot because of, like, how, like, the, um, I guess the cinematic or trailer, I more so cinematic, has a lot to do with, like, just the story in general. I like how they still keep to the nature and stuff. It's nice. Okay, so I guess this shows your range for it. What is this? Okay, that's it. That's just the Q dash. So, it seems like you can, like, maybe... It's a charge-up, right? Everything appears to be a charge-up. Interesting. His Q mortal steel is dedicated entirely to his human blade. Think of Yasuo's steel tempest, but instead of summoning a tornado to knock up his enemies, he harnesses the wind to dash to them, knocking them up in the process, and his W, Spirit Cleave, is dedicated purely to the Azukana Blade, a sweeping blow that deals magic damage to enemies in, his, in its path and protects Yone from harm with a shield. Okay. I really want... I wonder... Because... It doesn't seem like he has a lot of instants. He has a lot of, like, I guess you could say, um, uh, channeling, sorry. Even his, even his Q in general is a channel. Or unless it's just showing that, right? But there seems to be a lot of pausing between them all, which I hope it's a lot more smooth than what it's looking like. But we haven't really seen any combos yet. Um, but even the, even with Yone's new Azukana Hunter persona, he's still Yasuo's brother, and they still share similarities. 
Yone's Kyo is the same rampaging, ra ramping mechanic that Yasuo's has. Their play patterns are similar, where they both want to dive the backline, and their mechanics complement each other. In addition to Yone's Q knockup, his ultimate fate sealed, knocks up and pulls enemies in, giving every Yasuo the chance to land the perfect goal. Aw, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> In short, Yone shouldn't feel like Yasuo's opposite, instead they should feel like the missing halves. We'll both be 0-10, get ready. Okay, cool, great. That's actually... That's really cool, I like that a lot. Because like, throughout all of like, all of this that we've known from them is that they were very like, put together, and very like, side by side, and then we all thought that now they're enemies, but it's more of that it's just a missing half. Which I think is really neat. But, uh, I need to see more combos with this. I, I feel like... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it yet. Hopefully it's out on the PBE. It's definitely going to be out on the PBE. So I'm going to go give that a shot right after this. And then... You guys are probably going to see another video. But uh, thank you all for watching at the for now. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this little breakdown that I thought was pretty interesting. I like this a lot. He is definitely still going to be my main. Is he going to be your guys' main too? Let me know in the comments, please. Subscribe, like, would be very much appreciated. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much.